me to prevent the dangerous trend from spreading among young kids. NBC2's Lee Dana introduces us to one North Fort Myers father, a recovering drug addict, working to teach his daughter to stay away. Fire. 11-year-old Willow Shreve takes pride in her commitment to the archery club at Suncoast Community Center in North Fire. Fort Myers. I didn't used to do anything I just say in the house, and my dad said that it would be really cool for me to be active. You need help with this one? Yeah. For Willow, father knows best. Looking back now from where I'm at, uh, if there would have been programs when I was their age, I think the outcome would have been different. Fire. A recovering drug addict, William Shreve III, knows just how important it is for kids to get involved in a sport, activity, or volunteer program. These young men and women that we have today are the future of this community, and we want to guide them in any way possible to making all the right decisions. Fire. If they're active at 11... We're hoping they're not going to need rehab when they're 21. Deb Comella with the Coalition for a Drug-Free Southwest Florida says more kids these days are making the wrong decisions, taking dangerous over-the-counter synthetic drugs like spice, K2, and bath salts. Drug-Free Southwest Florida wants to curb this growing trend by teaching kids prevention starting at ages 3 or 4. So you talk about self-image, how you need to feel good about yourself, you don't need to follow the crowd. All of those are lessons in the home. Those lessons help bring Willow reinforcement on her dedication to archery and creates a proud moment for William, helping his daughter aim in the right direction. This is the positive outcome if you stay away from these products. That was Lee Dana reporting. Right now, lawmakers are scrambling to close loopholes in regulating bath salts. Now, the federal bill would extend the list of illegal compounds used to make the drug. Now to an NBC2 crime.